these two comparative box plots shows data of sam from samples, each of size 30 taken from two population, A and B. So this is a sample, this is a box plot of sample A, and this is a box plot of sample B. So one thing that we need to always realize when we are making conclusion, we are working from sample and we are going to talk about the population. So this is one thing that should very clearly, you should very clearly understand between sample and population. So you had two populations, A and B, and from those two populations, you took samples of 30 from both the population. So our final conclusion should be based from the step, from the sample statistics, we're going to talk about the population. So that should always be kept in mind. So in all your conclusion, you should refer back to the population. So let's write what is obvious. The first thing is to write the obvious. The first thing that you can see is there is difference between the medians. Okay. So we don't know what the sum, it doesn't matter whatever unit. So the difference is uh, the median shift, MS, I'll write this in short, the median shift. In some books, they write DBM, difference between median. Median shift or DBM means the same thing. So I'll write for this as the abbreviation that I can use is MS, median shift, is how much? 50 minus 50.8 minus 48, which is 2.8. Okay, that's one thing that you can see. The second thing is, so now the big question is, is this difference big enough to make the claim that the median or uh, the population B is has got a greater value than population A? That's the question. The second obvious thing is, you can say the median of, so let me write, median of B, MB, is almost equal to what? This is the median of B, is almost equal to the upper quartile of A. This, that's, that's the obvious thing. Okay, and the third thing, there is an overlap. Okay, if you look at the overlap, this is 47, this is 47.1 and this is this is 51 isn't it so this is the overlap so this is overlap so what's the overlap okay so overlap overlap is uh, this is 51 minus 51 minus 40 51 minus 47.1. That's how much? Okay, so let me use my calculator. So I want 51 minus 47.1. Oops. 51 minus 47.1. To be exact, it's 3.9. So these are the obvious things. The fourth thing that you need to look is the overall visible spread. Overall visible visible spread. Overall visible spread is the difference between the lower quartile of of the lower box minus sorry, the other way around the upper quartile of the bigger box minus the lower quartile of the smaller box or the lower box. So this would be 53.4 minus 45.75. 45.75. So let's again use a calculator. 53.4 minus 45.75 is 7.65. So now, based on these numbers, we need to make some, what was the number? 7.65. 7.65. So one very obvious thing that you can see is, which all of you should be able to see is, this is how much percent? This is 
greater than 50 per, sorry greater than median is 50 percent this is 50 percent of 50 percent 50 percent of group sorry of sample b statist uh, data is greater than this is how much percent if you go to the left of upper quartile is 75 percent so one obvious thing so let's write the obvious thing so i'll type this down okay so let me use a bigger font so you can see uh, as the median of sample b is almost equal to the upper quartile of sample a we let me scroll this up what is that you can say we can say that uh, more than 50% data of sample B is greater than 75% of sample A. That's one thing that you can say. Okay. Now, this should not lead you to say that some back in the population sample b is greater than sample a that's fine okay uh, to a certain extent but if you want to get better grade there is one more calculation which is very important that is the ratio between so let me sh show you the maths you have to find the ratio or write that as a percent what's the ratio between median shift divided by overall visible spread and that I'm going to write as a percent. So let me use my calculator. The median shift is 2.8 divided by overall visible spread is 7.65 is equal to, this is a decimal, and if you want to write that as a uh, percent, you times it by 100, which is 36.6%. So here you can say this is 36.6%. So what is the meaning of this? This means that for this median, that is 48 of sample A, to match up with this median of sample B, the shift, okay, the box, this box has to move by 36.6%. Okay, so yeah, this is a conclusion which is very important. So, so this is what we have to say. The second, the second important point is the uh, you can write like this: median shift divided by overall visible spread is 36.6 percent, which means that for the median of sample. A to match with the median of sample B box A has to move has to move by thirty six point six percent. Okay. Now again, now again the question is, is this enough to make the claim? Okay, so now this is what the rule says. Okay. Now, for a sample of size 30, this is the rule. If median shift divided by overall divided by overall visible spread is greater than 33.3 percent we can make the call back 
in the population that uh, the uh, that what can we say that population population B population okay I hope no I have not written this properly population of sample B B is data whatever that data was is greater than that of the population of of uh, of population A. Okay, so I hope so. Let me read this again. Okay, so what are we saying? Okay, so let's read it. So there are two conclusions. One is the sample, the median of sample B is almost equal to sample A. That means you have to always explain what it means that more than 50% of sample B is greater than 75% of sample A. And this is the final conclusion as you can start like this as median shift divided by overall visible spread is 36.6%, which means that for a median of sample A to match up with the median of sample B, box A has to move by 36.6%. Okay, now this is a rule of thumb that for a sample size of 30, if this ratio as a percent is greater than 33.3%, we can make the call. So there are two valid reasons. This is one valid reason, but this is, of course, finally this nails it down okay that there is no doubt we can surely make the call that population b statistics or some uh, data is greater than that of population a we actually don't know what this stats is about but appropriately or accordingly you can phrase your sentences so these are the four things you need to talk about okay it's possible that even if this is this is true, if this ratio is less than 33%, you cannot make the call because that is not big enough to make the call. So again, I'll uh, reiterate or say it again. What is more important, most important, is you should realize that you're making conclusion of your of the population of the population from the sample. So if you don't in your conclusion these words doesn't come your conclusion is not good enough okay you may get an achieved or merit but if you really want to get excellence this this is a language of course i don't say this should be the language you can change the language accordingly but you should you should show that you know that you're making conclusion about the population from the sample so can you see in this sentence i've talked about sample and i also talked about population when you're concluding, you need to talk about the population based on the sample.